Alrighty, this will be a one gram run of seeds. Um, this is being ran on an S4. This S4 is set up in a standard configuration with a standard weight hopper, standard discharge funnel. This does have a dribble gate employed in this process. Um, we've got an S6 supply hopper gate on here to reduce the amount of product in the pan. Um, I really did not have enough product to simulate all possibilities here. Um, you know, five pounds does a lot of one gram runs. It does a lot of 20 gram runs, uh, but it, there's features that I can't really actually gain any data on, such as if, you know, if I had filled this way hopper or the supply hopper up uh, to supply the feed pan and way hopper system, um, does it bog down the way hopper at all? There, there are variables here that five pounds just do not give us enough data, essentially. Um, so that may be something we speak of should a machine want to be purchased. Uh, without further ado, I will get right to it. I do have a scale right down here so you can see um, that weights are consistent. It is zeroed to this little bucket here. Um, this is a very small run. I have taken out the bulk cycle completely and without further ado. Again, one gram is very tiny. Uh, let's see here. And we're within the tolerance of the plus one gram, as you can see. Um, because of the little bit of changing air pressure we have in the room here, my scale will show the weight pretty dead on. Uh, but sometimes when it's just slightly under the gram by a kernel or two, then we end up having a little bit of uh, basically a zero read and that's why I've employed this other scale. There we go again. Speed up just a hair. Yeah, 